On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, join me as I take you to a place that Elvis sold out five times in 1974 and 75. Yeah, Monroe Civic Center in Monroe, Louisiana. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. Here we are in Monroe, Louisiana at the Monroe Civic Center where Elvis Presley played here in 1974 and 1975 and sold out five shows inside this building. And it's a pretty interesting looking older building. I'm sure it pretty much looked just like this during the uh, time that Elvis would have performed here. Imagine right now where we're standing, all the lines to go inside those doors to gets into the Elvis concert that night. There's the sign of the Monroe Civic Center and the sign of it when Elvis played here. It says, welcome Elvis. And let's explore around this building and walk. I'm just, as I film this, I just try to imagine the crowd. It must have been there when Elvis played this building. I mean, imagine the crowd coming out of those doors, going into those doors. And if you were there, please let me know, comment below. But yeah, here's the side of the building. I walked all around this place trying to find a way inside. I tried all of those doors that you see. But yeah, but look at the design. It was it's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe a spaceship is kind of what I thought about this place. But we are in Monroe, Louisiana now. So look at this picture that I found. I had no idea about this picture, but that is Elvis. You can see Elvis in the back seat looking out the window actually in this picture. But this is Elvis pulling in the back of the Monroe Civic Center to enter into the arena. And luckily I walked to the back and I stood around right here in this area and filmed this street, assuming that Elvis would have turned right right here and went down this street like I'm filming right now. Elvis definitely, with that picture, was right here, there in 1974 in 1975. Now look at the building in front of us. That building had to be later on added because here's a picture of Elvis turning right, right before he goes in the building. And you see that grass right there is where the building would be today that you just saw in my shot. But here is Elvis going inside of the arena, the Monroe Civic Center. Just look at the door. Look at the door on the side there, the wall there. Elvis pulled in to park pretty much right there where the stage would have been. And look what happened when I walked in the back of this arena trying to find a way inside. So Elvis would have pulled right here where we just saw the picture. The picture exactly right there. That's where he entered into the building. Still the same. Probably the same um, door on this, this entrance here. But Elvis, that picture was right here, captured right there as he was in that car. So they would have pulled in and parked just right here where we are at right now. I got into the Monroe Civic Center. No one was there. So I just walked right in for historical purposes to film this awesome building and look at this place. I'm sure this is exactly how it looked when Elvis Presley performed here. Those sold out shows, just imagine the light bulbs right now flashing as Elvis takes that stage in front of us. Imagine the screams that you girls and some of you guys probably uh, gave the guy on his welcome in to Monroe, Louisiana. Elvis Presley sold this arena out five times. Unbelievable. Just shows how great popular and loved the guy really was i mean we're still doing videos about him all these years later but i just i love the fact that i uh was able to get inside here to capture this and that a stage was set up probably an exact area that it was set up when elvis played this building so now let's walk up on the stage i really believe he came in from the other side which i filmed a little later but look at this. This is what it would have looked like for Elvis when he performed here. 
can can you uh can you can you hear the music can you hear him sing so we've been right in the center where elvis would have stood filled up with stands there crowd going crazy he throws scarves all right here in this section does this put you back in 1974 and 75 I mean, the place looks exactly the same. The same stadium seats, the same wall, painting. Everything looks old in here and it smells old. Wish you guys can smell the smell. This place smells like an old arena. I'm gonna see if I can find any pictures with that in the background. This is worth the drive to capture this for you. I hope you enjoy this video. It's so great to stand here knowing Elvis was here a few times in, a few times in his life and he stood right here though so he could have come up these steps maybe the same steps and he entered the stage from this way So some lady got a kiss right here in this area and received a scarf from Elvis just standing right here. Can you imagine him right here in front of you? Well, he was in 74 and 75, all right here. That was his backdrop and I'm sure that flag was there. So Elvis would have roamed around a stage right here in front of us and can you see him on this stage? Can you picture and put yourself right here in 1974 and 75, and Elvis is literally standing and singing right in front of you. Check this picture out that I found. There he is. Definitely was here once upon a time in his life. Here's an article that I found that I think you guys might like. It says, Elvis thrills capacity crowd March the 9th, 1974. Elvis, the king of rock and roll, brought back memories of the 50s, interwined with the sound of today. These were the things people came to see and hear as they flocked to Monroe Civic Center March the 4th, 7th, and 8th to view the first live Elvis Presley concerts ever to be held in the city. My every standard of comparison, they were not disappointed in their king. People from 1 to 80 arrived in throngs to see and hear the idol of millions perform live in concert to the sold-out houses for all three nights. The biggest attraction to ever appear in Monroe, the audiences began arriving early for the Elvis concert, carrying with them the electricity of the excitement and anticipation. By 7 p.m., the parking areas were beginning to fill, and by 8, it was virtually impossible to find an empty space on the center grounds. The time came. The house lights were dim, the strains of 2001, a space odyssey accompanied by the stirring beats of runny touch drum, and the audience almost had the audience almost in a frenzy of anticipation, and then Elvis appeared to the almost deafening shrieks, cheers, and yells. The atmosphere was charged, flash cubes popped until the arena looked like one giant strobe. He was in a white bejeweled jumpsuit with diamonds flashing on both hands, Elvis masterfully sent the audience wild with excitement. Then, as if to assent the already frenzied atmosphere, reached for his black guitar and belted out C.C. Ryder with a style that was completely his own. Not only was the concert fantastic and audience appeal, but it was also absent of the usually I can't see comments so often accompanying the entourage of a group. Due to the expertise knowledge of the sound man and handling controls, only one brief bit of feedback was heard by the audience and the elevated sound equipment made it possible for everyone in the arena to see what they paid for. Near the end of the show, Elvis asked for the house lights to be turned up so he could see the audience. You are a beautiful audience, he said, and I would like to sing this next song for you. I can't stop loving you. He ended the show with can't help falling in love. Of course, we know that, right? Then immediately left the stage to the cheers and screams of the audience. The announcer said, ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Thank you and good night. And indeed, it was a good night here in Monroe, Louisiana. Elvis had proven again that he is truly the king 
a rock and roll. As one man, as one fan put it, everyone came to see a living legend, and Elvis Presley didn't disappoint them. So here is where I feel Elvis's locker room would have been before the show. This was the only room that I found back there in the area where he would have walked up the state, uh, stairs to the stage. And this was a large room, which is convenient for the Memphis Mafia, his guys, and he to be in here. So this room would have been just like this without all those cabinets that you see. But yeah, I can pretty much assume just by the layout and what I found, this was Elvis's locker room. So this is where Elvis waited for that 2001 Space Odyssey music to hit. And imagine the, the crowd that he can, he can hear their excitement as the paper described. He, he hears that, he hears the love the fans had for the guy. I, I really feel Elvis had to truly, truly know how much you guys loved him that went to his concerts and that cheered and yelled and screamed and threw your panties up on the stage and just Elvis had to had to feel that love and I'm glad the guy got to to experience that but can you imagine being in this room with Elvis he definitely in my opinion was right here once upon a time once again I love saying that it was once upon a time in his life he would have walked out these doors maybe these actual doors and then he would have gone down this little hallway you see the stage in front of us Elvis would have walked up the stage where we are walking at and this would have been how he got to the stage that night in Monroe Louisiana Monroe, Louisiana and the Monroe Civic Center just is at a very interesting place, uh, still in use, and I would love to, to show, see a show there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this arena has not changed much since Elvis played here. I'm sure it was blue just like this. And then, of course, it looked just like this. Nothing much has changed. So maybe the advertisement and the Coca-Cola and Sprite bottles. But other than that, I'm sure that probably was here in the 70s. So just think you're hearing the Space Odyssey music, you would run up these stairs. These would be great seats because Elvis would be right there in front of you. That's all right, Mama. Yes, that's all right with you. That's all right, Mama. Just any way you do, but that's all right. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something new on this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey here at the Monroe Civic Center in Monroe, Louisiana. Be sure if you're in the area to see another place that Elvis performed. And hey guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget, don't double dribble, subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey to stay updated with every new episode that I upload, which is every Tuesday on Elvis Presley. I think you'll enjoy it if you're an Elvis fan. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.